Increasing presence of ISWAP in Borno State, especially in southern Nigeria, southern Borno State, and in the core northern areas of Borno State. Honestly speaking, we have to do something about it. It is an early warning system for all of us to understand the operations of ISWAP in Borno State. If nothing is being done to check them, and chase them out. Honestly speaking, it will never be good. Not to the people of the Northeast, but also to the entire state nation at large. These were a better arm, better equipped, more intelligent, more sophisticated, received more funding than Boko Haram. And they are growing spontaneously. And it's not typical for us to address this problem. But one of the major problems that we are facing with the Nigerian army is that once they started witnessing peace, they will withdraw. They will become slack. They need to pursue them. I said it all that they have done well. But that will not stop me to identify key challenges that we need to address. They need to pursue this ISWAP at the early stage. ISWAP are collecting, are having checkpoints between Dambwa and Biu. You have to pay before you proceed. ISWAP are collecting taxes from the communities. A few days ago, I had a very good security information that recently they did a party, wedding ceremony in Mandragra with about 300 Martians. And something needs to be done. Represented by the permanent secretary administration. The determination of not only our soldiers on ground but also the CNC and equally the National Assembly to give the Nigerian Army the necessary support to bring this challenge that we have that has been running for about 11 years to an end. And as you said, this is a security briefing that we had, and that's why we had to ask you out so that we can hear really and actually what uh, is, are the problems. We have had those challenges, and um, we, that was why it took us so long. And as we said, it's a confidential matter. If not, we would have allowed you in there. So I can't tell you all. But I can tell you one thing. Everything still centers around the funding of the Nigerian Army and Armed Forces of the country. We are in a war situation, and the Nigerian Army still needs more for them to be able to prosecute and execute the war and even be referred to as truly the Nigerian Army that we know. And we have been doing that as a committee in Senate, and we will continue to do that until the Nigerian army is sufficiently funded. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, sir. Uh, my name is Senator Ali Duma, Chairman of the Senate Committee on the uh, Army. I'm here with my colleagues, namely Senator Abba Moro from Benway South, Senator Bulus, Emos Bulus. 
Fulani, Smainas.